So secondarily, I wanted to make a video to tell people how I became so good at the game and how you could become really good at the game. First of all, you got the uh, uh, intrinsic element of, you know, genetically, like your reaction time. Like you can work on your reaction time, but there's like, you, you have like a, a genetic human limit in your own body of how fast you could be and how well trained you could be to react to something. So given that, you know, your body type and your psychological ability, I'm talking about mechanical ability, like how well you know the game, which is like what I consider back then a given. You have to know the game to be able to compete. And people nowadays, hey, they think they know everything, right? But if they if they know so much, they, you know, they, you think that they would, uh, you know, counter moves that are obvious with the best counter every time, but I just don't see that happening except with maybe a handful of people. So what you do is, when the game comes out, you get your buddy, you go back, you're at your house, because these are all console now, which is the best thing ever, because you don't have to drive anywhere. It doesn't cost any money. You sit there, you get a notepad, you work on every single matchup in the entire game, every single position in the entire game, every single range, every single angle, and you work on what button do I push to counter his short when he jumps, his strong when he jumps, his fierce when he jumps, his forward when he jumps, his roundhouse when he jumps. Now, most people only jump with you know one or two buttons and most people only poke with one or two buttons for each character, so you could start, start there. But either way, this is gonna be a three month process, okay? If you wanna be really good and you wanna be the best, you need to know every single counter for every single move in the whole game. Which is, which is why I was, you know, top five in, what, like, six versions of Street Fighter for five years or so. I was top five in the U.S. because I knew for at least Super and before, Super and before, for Super Turbo, I, I gotta admit, I, I didn't study it. But Super and before, I knew every single counter, every single situation, with every single character in the entire game. That does a lot for you because that does good things for you psychologically. Because psychologically, he'd be like, oh, I gotta play against Daigo Umahara, right? Like, he's the best in the world, if you think he is. And I, and you, you get psychologically beat. Like, you know, I used to walk in and play people, and they, they would be like, oh shoot, I gotta play Jeff, or oh shoot, I gotta play Tomo, or oh shoot, I gotta play Mike. I lost, right? Don't look at it like that, okay? Walk into the tournament, and don't even worry about who you're playing. Just pre just pretend they're just a piece of meat. Like, doesn't doesn't matter who they are. Because you're not playing them. What you're playing is a character. You're playing against a character on the screen, okay? Don't worry about who's behind that character. It doesn't matter, okay? Worry about one thing. Whatever that character does, you have an answer because you've trained for it, right? He sticks out low roundhouse. You're like, cool, I do this. He jumps with forward. Cool, I know what to do. Apply your knowledge of the game plus your intrinsic ability to beating that character. And don't worry if it's Daigo behind the joystick or Alex or Mike or John or, you know, all these great players. Don't worry about who you're playing against. Worry about what they do as that character and counter it from, from the best of your ability. And you won't get beat psychologically at least. And then you can play to your best of your ability. Don't be nervous. Don't be afraid to lose. You step up there, you know, you, if someone's poking with this button, it doesn't matter whether it's Daigo or whoever, if they like to poke with that button, cool. I know the counter, you're gonna punish them. Then they're gonna know, hey, I can't poke. And then you're gonna take away from their game plan. Being, a, being knowledgeable about the game is just as important as being able to react and, you know, counter with uppercuts at the right time, okay? Knowing what to do, is critical, it's a base. Back in the day, there was like a hundred people that knew every single thing in the entire game. They're like walking encyclopedias on Street Fighter. This is like dead serious business. And I just don't see that happening anymore. That is gone. Those days are gone. Nowadays, I'm watching these interviews and people are like, oh, I gotta play against this guy in loser's bracket, or I gotta play, guess who I'm playing first at the tournament? Like, it's a joke, right? Like, dude, I don't care who I'm playing. I don't care who they are. 
it doesn't matter at all. When I'm playing somebody, I don't even know who I'm playing because I'm, I'm, I'm just looking at Rue on the screen and I'm like, okay, he wants to throw a fireball? Okay, I'll do this because I, you know, I'm at this range and it's, if you take the person you're playing completely out of the equation and you just play for the moment of, of that character in the game, you're going to do a lot better, okay? You're going to do a lot better. Mark my words. Psychologically, once you've mastered every move in the game and you've memorized the counter for everything, it becomes, winning at Street Fighter becomes 90% psychological. You don't get beat, you just get put in situations, and then you do the right thing to get out of those situations or improve your situation, okay? And so it becomes mechanical. It's a matter of execution. The reason certain players are the best is why? Because they did the right thing at the right time and they executed, right? Does it, names behind actions mean nothing. It's just what they did, right? Like, oh, you know, they countered this perfectly. That's great. I could do the same thing too. You could do the same thing too. So, you know, I just, I just want to make a point that I want you guys to really think about that because knowing the game and being a master of it means you know, you know, if he sticks out this, I can hit it with this. If he does this, I can do this. If I have him in this situation in the corner, he has only these options, and then you play to those options. You know every circuit, you know what, who can get out of what and when and how. You need to know all that, okay? And then don't worry about who you're playing. Have confidence in yourself, believe in yourself, all right? And you can win, you can beat anybody. So, I hope that helps somebody. <laughs>